<laughs> you were all conference in basketball in high school, weren't you? Yeah, good. See, people be forgetting, but you know. You cool. always remind Whatever, us, though. You know. I mean, that's one thing. <laughs> Drake was good, though. But yeah. I just remember. No, I, was I remember you, you had spring practice for the first time, and you get an offer like the second or third day. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And you got a couple right away. Yeah, I know. Three or not? <sighs> it was like, arranged, me arranged. Me. Austin Richards, though. I think it was Austin. Awesome. Yeah, so it was me. Awesome. Overrated. Yeah. He's like, man. overrated. <laughs> he said it. Like, wow. He said it a couple years ago. He's like, man. That one hurts. KJ talks all the time about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine Austin has game, does he? Yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah, yeah me and him always used to play. I guess yeah. Well, Kevin, how does it feel now that you and Brock are kind of like the old heads on on the defensive line now? How does it feel? sort of step into that leadership right? oh it feels great like i had good people before me like aaron crawford to show me the way so it's good that i can like push that down the line to like peter and leroy to the uh younger guys yeah. what's it been like working with uh coach collins since he's come in it's amazing it's amazing he's a great coach for sure the stuff he has for us is amazing well, coach, coach monokino is kind of come along. how you that depth's going to come along on that defensive line i know one thing jeff Collins was talking a lot about was wanting to get more guys in there in game how do you feel the I guess depth is building. Me, like, you know, I've been here for a while, so I think we have the most depth that we had since I've been here. Like, we got young guys coming in, like Trav, you know, he experienced. We got experienced guys. We got transfer like Josh Harris. Uh, so we got a lot of experience. Uh, Leroy's coming up, showing up a lot. Peter's coming along good. Uh, you know, we got Ari. So we have, like, so many people, so many depth. So it's just it's amazing. Coach Monacino goes from an analyst and now he's on the field coaching you guys. He's your actually your position coach. Yeah. What are some of the immediate changes that maybe he made, little tweaks with what you do personally that you've seen pay off so far? Um, pass rush, for sure. He's more uh, like a pass rush specialist. Like, all we do is work pass rush a lot. So I think uh, he helped me personally because I want to work on my pass rush. So it was great having him come in and show me some stuff. There's a technique side, there's a physical side, but how much of the pass rush is a mentality side as well? Mm -hmm. um, Pass rush is a lot of mentality. That's where they pay. So, like our pass rush, like we're more aggressive instead of like holding our gaps. We're more aggressive on the pass rush to get them off the ball. Is it more fun? Oh yeah, always. Yeah, it's always fun. <laughs> Have you guys developed anything where if you get the quarterback, there's, you know, like in baseball, you hit a home run, you you wear a weird jacket or something. Is there something you guys do within your group that if you get the quarterback, there's something a little reward there that's unique? No. <sighs> But now that you bring it up, we definitely should do that. Now that you bring it up, we should definitely do that. You probably can't, great you probably can't wear a sports coat like they do in some baseball games, but yeah. some kind of gesture that's <laughs> within the rules, I guess. Oh, yeah. I just bring you got to come up with something. Oh, yeah. that okay, we're going to hold you to that. Yeah, for sure. Hold you to it. Kind of, what kind of addition do you think Josh Harris can be for you guys? Because he seemed like a, an important pickup to get through the portal for, for the depth inside. Like, yeah, for what, sure. I mean, what can he give you guys? What is he giving you guys? Uh, experience like you know he's a uh, six year just like me so we have a lot of experience up there like since he came here like it wasn't like a awkward stage where it was like hey you know like come out with us uh, he like fit in immediately okay. so every the bond came in great so yeah, i think he was a great addition to our team for sure he's a popper too yeah 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 have you seen his kids yeah yeah he, yeah yeah beautiful kids <laughs> is he a is he a guy that just eats blockers Oh, yeah, yeah, he can definitely do that. But we also like passers, too. So we trying to, you know, expand ourselves from that, too. Is he a little quicker than you thought? Because I think oh, we yeah. were who were we talking to a couple weeks ago? He's at 350. He's supposed to get down to 340, but they say he's yeah. deceptively quick. Yeah, yeah, he's twitchy <laughs> for sure. He's like a surprising twitchy. You wouldn't expect it, yeah. What have you seen from Guy and Double Count? It seems like his name has come up a lot when we talk about him. Oh, yeah, he's, he's so versatile. Like, like, we had to have him at 3 tech. Just killed it. Like anything he does, he kills it. It doesn't matter if it's pass, run, he can do it all. Like his length and everything is perfect. You mentioned Travis before. Do you feel yeah. like it, it's coming along there? Like he's on his way to having that breakout? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's definitely coming along. I, um, like he's moving faster, he's getting back healthy. So he, he's good for sure. How have you seen he's him? He's going to be great this year for us this season. How have you seen him change from when he first got here as a freshman to, to now? Because he's been there the whole way. Yeah, so. From the freshman, like, you know, he's big, so he was a just straight wrecking ball. But now it's more a controlled wrecking ball. Like, he knows what he's doing. Like, he knows, like, his uh, like his place in the play, but still being a wrecking ball at the same time. So I think he's matured more in that way for sure. And he's, like, emerging to, like, you know, picking up the younger guys with me and stuff. So it's great to see him like that. Mac has insisted that the offensive line's better. Yeah. Many times. Every time we talk to him, the offensive line's better. 
Is the offensive line better? In what way are they better? Yeah, they're they definitely uh, better. Uh, like a lot of transfers, like Austin Blasky. Uh, I feel like they work together really good. I feel like they mold it uh, a lot since I've been here. So I feel like we have uh, we can make uh, that'll be a great step for us. I wanted to ask you about Bo Atkinson and the times that you know we've been able to watch him in practice. You know, it seems you know more explosive. He obviously showed flashes last year in games. Where do you kind of see his game at now? I guess in comparison to last year, or even the spring. Like, where do you, where do you see his game at? I, he, um, he's he's great. He's a great player. Like since like he's showed steps. He's taking steps every every day at practice. So he's definitely coming along, making good plays. He's going to be a great player for us for sure. Kevin, you mentioned you know being a six year and one of the older guys. Yeah. What was the thought process in coming back? Was there any thought on moving on or just, you know, kind of moving on to the next chapter of your life? Or was it always coming back for your sixth year? Um, well, I came back for my sixth year just because, like, like, you know, I, was, I keep going back. Like, I'm still learning. But now, like, I'm here. I got a lot of experience. Now it's time to take the season as, like, my stamp. Like, show what everything, how everything came together since then and just put the final part of it out there. What is the, the finality, like you mentioned, like putting a stamp on it? Does it almost feel like a contract here in a way for you with this past season, kind of, you know, putting everything else on the line? Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't want to do that every season, but I feel like this season is definitely going to be great for me to do that. Can you talk about the impact of leadership from Power? Yeah, Power, like, he's he's a general for everything you say goes. Like, he going to get us set up. I, I like I just know like he's gonna get us right. He's gonna tell us to play, where to go. I trust power everything, and I'm gonna keep the double teams to myself. Let him make the plays. So I'll do everything with power. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. He likes it. So you get a little <laughs> KJ Hester askers for every tackle he makes in the gap. Right? <laughs> I let my dogs eat, man. <laughs> KJ, what is your overall from a from an overall team wide perspective, not just the defense, but yeah. you guys as a whole? What are your expectations for this year? I mean, it seems like people are it's kind of all over the map for you guys. Yeah. I mean, like, what do you what do you expect out of this team? I expect us to get over nine wins for sure. I feel like just like all together, I feel like everyone's more together. Like, like we were together last year, but it wasn't like as disciplined. Like now we have discipline. Like, we're getting right down the little things to tighten everything up. And once we get all together and all rounded weather, we're going to be a championship team for sure. No doubt. All right, so plus, nine plus. No, oh, ten. On the wins. Yeah. We good with KJ? Nine plus means ten. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Scoop. All right. Thanks, man. KJ,